things you're struggling and your friends start to get parts and get roles and start to do you get jealous of them? What the fuck? Like, what? He sucks. Like, what about me? I would have been good in that part. Uh, that that has happened. Yeah, I don't. I can see that. That has happened. That happens to me every and, day. And <laughs> <laughs> that has happened. But I got to a place where, like, my life was a certain way, and I was a certain way until May 20th, 2009, and I had this, these complications from a parasite. I got in Africa, and I died. I, pa- I passed away. I flatlined. Jesus. And I came back. And then I never saw the world or life in the same way ever again. And I kind of understood what this was a little bit better. And I, I there was things that were opened up to into my consciousness that I didn't realize. And jealousy is no longer part of that. So that just baited. I'm, I'm it, assuming it, with it, other it, things too. It, yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot of things that became very transparent. Jealousy is jealousy. So jealousy is is an imaginative circumstance of a vivid imagination. It's just the negative expression of 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 your vivid imagination. So your imagination can also be hopeful. Okay. Your imagination can also be supportive. Right. Your imagination can also be abundant. There's all these things you can you can put that that consciousness to. That mo- most of us think we're competing against each other. Most of us think that this is a zero sum game. That there's not enough to go around. That if he gets this and I don't get this, then it, no. If he gets that, you get something else. Right. And so you lose because he part. can't get both. Right. So if, if, if you <laughs> right. if, if you audition for a part, yeah. you don't get it. There's another part out there that's that's probably better for you. That is better. For you. Yes, that is better for you. And 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 the, and the point is, it's like most of us get jealous or upset or whatever the case is because we figure out, we find out the truth about the fact that we're not psychic. Yeah. You go, well, I wanted that. I saw myself. I like, no, 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 no. You, you're, you're basically seeing yourself as a, as a success, and you've placed the specificity of that role on that. That is a really intense thing to happen to somebody, yeah. and you hear stories about this. Was there some sort of light? Was there some, did you go somewhere? Do you recall we're, it? We're going there? I, I, I gotta, gotta, I gotta know, start. man. Okay, I gotta know this stuff. I'm sorry. It's fucking so hot, dude. I know. I, I used to have a fan. I Trust me, I'm, I'm actually sweating, too. I'm gonna take... <laughs> I'm, that's it. I'm taking my show. <laughs> oh my God. Take, take you, were, you, you were going to do that yeah. at some point. Yeah, I was waiting to, I was dying. I'm sweating. <laughs> I fucking love you. Man. That's awesome. That's great. That's great. That's so great, man. It's going to do what we talked about oh, Supergirl. Man. man. I, I love nerds. <laughs> I am, I'm a huge nerd. I love nerds. Perfect. But I do, um, I do have to know this. Okay, you. so I'll tell you a little story, man. Like, I'll shoot the movie called In the Valley of Ella in Africa, okay. in Morocco. And we it was a beautiful time. We were we were hanging there for a while and a bunch of us actors after the movie wrapped, we went around, did like a road trip around Morocco and we had, happened to go to this really small town called Asweta. And Asweta is in the north of Morocco, a lot of expats there, uh, very friendly to Westerners. And they have these things called these riads, which are these big, like uh, rectangular, you know, homes that are five or six stories but with like a courtyard in the middle okay think of like a square donut yeah right but like each okay. floor has like six or seven rooms and really beautiful right right in the water um so i went to this this little hole in the wall spa thing and I, I think i got some water in me and uh i went to germany right after that to go find my my estranged sister and I, I've been looking for her for 10 years, and I found her within like a week. And strangers, this is before Facebook, it was like 2007. Okay, yeah. And strangers helped me, the concierge of the hotel helped me, called people in the phone book, they, they helped. Like it, was, it was like a lifetime book, it was crazy. But I got, I got really, really sick. And so I, I had this gastrointestinal problems, and you know, that lasted for a little while, and like they were, they were off and on for a year, and then, or a couple of years, and then I was shooting True Blood one day, and I was in a fight scene. Nelson Ellis, rest of soul, he's passed away a couple years ago. Um, he was overpowering me in the scene. And I, I was just like, this is weird. Like, yeah. I'm, I got at least 40 pounds on Nelson. I'm like, I, he should not be like, you know, yes. like, you know, like, you know, dominating me to the ground. And I'm having these cold sweats and I don't really understand what's happening. And then the next day I wake up and I can't get out of bed. And I got diagnosed with swine flu and fucking like leukemia and all a bunch of other shit that just wasn't it just wasn't it 
and like a bunch of doctors just made a bunch of mistakes. But you gotta and, be freaking out at this point though, right? Of course I was, yeah. 28 years old. Right? And so I go, I, so finally like I pass out, there's a couple times I pass out, ambulances come and like the whole thing. And um, I just got to a point where I couldn't take care of myself. So I checked myself into the hospital and I was in the hospital for off and on for about a month. The longest stint was like 10 days. And within that 10 day period, it was late May, um, they found out that I had this thing on my liver. And it was an abscess, which is like a hole in your liver, it sounds disgusting, and like your liver balloons around it trying to protect it, but like when you're breathing, your diaphragm, it hurts like crazy, like, cause it's pushing against it, and your liver cleans blood, but my liver had a hole in it, so it wasn't cleaning it, so every time the filtration system of blood would go through the liver, it would come out dirty and it would hurt. My fucking eyelashes hurt. Oh my God. There's no reprieve. You can't hide from it. There's three things that cause that. One percent, less than one percent chance is a parasite. Thirty uh, percent chance it's uh, uh, like a, what is it called? A fucking drawing blank here. It's a staph infection. Okay. And a seventy percent chance it's like it's a it's viral bacteria, whatever. So they tested me for everything, and they're like, it's a probably a parasite, which is really, really rare that you would have that, like less than 1% chance, it's tropical disease. Where have you been in the last six months? Um, here, here, here. No, I wouldn't do it. I was in Africa two years ago. Like, no way you'd be dead. Okay. So they brought an expert in and they figured out it was from Africa. Two years at saved you? I, I should have been dead within 28 weeks without treatment. So I was a medical anomaly. So they, all the doctors come in like, ah, poking, poking, prodding. I'm like, just fix me. Stop. Yeah. Just, just yeah. okay. <laughs> I haven't seen this since medical school. Okay, great. <laughs> great. Yeah, put, put your shit on, fix yeah. me. Like, I'm fix it in medical school because uh, just, yeah, cause cause just do that yeah. now and stop fucking taking notes and shit. Like, just do it. So they gave me some parasite medication that I was allergic to. There's three types of parasite medication. I happen to be allergic to two of them. They gave me one of them and then in, in conjunction with the the IV drug drip that I was on, like I, my system just couldn't handle it, it crashed. And I went under. And um, to answer your question specifically, what do you think the last conscious thought you have is? You guys too. What do you think the last I don't, conscious I mean, thought? I'm trying to think of what that could possibly be because it's not something that you're, you're actively searching for. It's just no. something that just pops up. Yeah. And I don't know what- It's not family, because that's already happened. Is it is it fear? Is it scared? Is it where you're going? Is it that's already happened? Okay. You've already you've already come to terms with that. Like you, you dig down deep. So I'll tell you that about that. But you dig down super deep to where your strength is, and you realize that there's a bottom. You go, what the fuck do you mean there's a bottom? There's not a bottom. Like I I'm, I have to save my own life. Right. Because you realize this was happening, and there's a bottom. There's a bottom in your in your intestinal fortitude where you can't go below, and you're like, fuck. Are you serious? And what happens is this thing pop, this voice comes over and it's, it's your voice kind of. And it's just like, not this time, you're fine. Hmm. Don't fight. 